Hey folks, today I wanted to cover the uh, side harvest method and uh, as you can see in this tub right here and you can tell it's not that even that deep you can keep worms in real shallow stuff it's actually deeper than that when you start but with the horse manure in a bed and pile will reduce way down and what I'll do a lot of times before I harvest them I'll actually take say if it reduces down to that I'll move it all to one side and then fill it with manure but being how what I did I, on this one I put some manure here to kind of get the worms to move over I'll come back in and put some manure over here and eventually they'll move this way this a little bit off but I'm gonna show you this next bin and what I do is I'll uh, after it sits while well, horse manure this stuff they process it real fast I mean it this here's a month old and uh, may even be a little less than that if you see on the back side you can see where it changes I actually put manure on that side I've been harvesting this side there's no worms up in here so far but one thing you can't do is remove cocoons this way so what I do is even if you look in this bucket here I'm still gonna let this dry out a little bit sift it and then I got another tub that I put the big stuff in for a hatch mix with cocoons in it so I have some more worms if you can kind of look I don't know if you can see it or not but even like right here right there you can see the cocoons are all still on here so you got to use one of the hatch methods or whatever and uh, but what you do is when you get the tub work middle ways over on one side once this is processed you put horse manure in there let it sit a while you get some amazing results and I'm going to try to see if they're pile up in there usually these tubs have about two pounds of worms in them it's just a standard mixing tub let's see if there's any as you can see it's just loaded with worms in here they just love horse manure and what you do is once they work this side now you put some more over here but I'm going to try to show you even like in here if you look yeah there's a couple worms in there look like but if you look at this bottom down here I put some water in last night actually it would have been better to let it dry out but if you look at it just a little mucky but I could even sift this if I want or two but I'm going to let it sit for a day or two in another pan but anyway this is a real good method to sort this stuff out and uh, that way even if like say if there's some worms in here you don't have that many to deal with whereas if you're processing the whole thing and you can actually what I'll do is I'll have three tubs here you can start on this one work your way to that one work your way to that one and then you can start back over this again and there's a few worms in there hopefully you can get them to move that way so they're warm you're not waiting on one pile and that way you manage your time a little better anyway hopefully this will help you out a little bit and that's it for now